Bonsoir tout le monde. Tonight's homework is about possessive adjectives. These are the words in French that help us show who owns something. It's how you say my, your, his, her, our, and their. But because they are adjectives, as you know in French, they have to agree in number and gender with the item they're describing. So you're going to need your notebook. We got a lot of notes to take on this and we're going to take some time to get used to this idea. All right, at the top of the page in your notebook, you're going to write les adjectifs possessifs. These are possessive adjectives. And we, sh we use a possessive adjective to show possession or ownership. And like all other adjectives, they have to agree with the noun they modify. So go ahead and write that in your notebook, please. Okay, remember, you can pause if I didn't give you enough time there. So, the adjectives mon, ton, and son have three forms, and notre, votre, and leur have two forms. The mon, ton, and son are what we would call our singular side, okay, our um, singular subject pronouns, that side of a verb. And the notre, votre, leur are the plural forms. So, let's take a look. Mon frère, you know it means my brother. The mon is the masculine singular form of this adjective that means my, my brother. For a feminine noun, sister, the form is ma. This is the feminine singular form of the word my. Notice how this adjective agrees with the noun it's modifying. It does not agree with the owner. Okay, so whatever your subject of your sentence is, does not matter. This adjective agrees with the noun that comes after it. My brother, my sister, mon frère, ma soeur. Now for the plural, it's the same, so you don't have to worry. May is masculine plural and may is feminine plural. Mes frères, mes soeurs, my brothers, my sisters. All right, so that's the beginning. Mon, ma, me. All three of these words mean my. All right, let's look at the word or words for your. And you're going to see the pattern here. They're going to look very similar. Ton frère. Ton is the masculine singular form of the word for your. Your brother. Ton frère. Can you guess what it's going to be for sister? If you guess ta, you're right. Ta is the feminine singular form. Ta soeur, your sister. And can you figure out what it'll be for the plural? If you replaced that M with a T, you're right again. Te frère and te soeur. So te is the masculine and feminine plural form for your. Your brother, ton frère, your sister, ta soeur, your brothers, Tes frères and your sisters, tes sœurs. Next, we're going to look at the words for his or her. And it's the same word for both his and her. So don't get confused here. I know we're talking about a lot of masculine and feminine. These words mean his slash her, okay? Son frère, his brother, it also means her brother. Sa soeur means his sister, but it also means her sister. Ses frères and ses soeurs, this means their brothers. Or, I'm sorry, not their brothers, his brothers and his sisters. Okay, but again, it could be his brothers, her brothers, his sisters, her sisters. And if you were to think about the subject pronouns that we know, this would be je, this would be tu, and this would be il and elle. Okay, now for the plural side. Notre. 
Notre means our. Okay, so that kind of corresponds with the subject pronoun nous, which means we. Notre frère, our brother. Notre sœur, our sister. So here on our plural side, these are the same. They don't change between masculine and feminine. So the, ma uh, the masculine and the feminine singular form of this adjective is notre. The plural form of this adjective is no. So you have our brother, our sister, our brothers, our sisters. Notre frère, notre sœur, nos frères, nos sœurs. Now, where the subject pronoun vous would be if we were conjugating a verb, we have the vous form. Votre frère, your brother. Votre sœur, your sister. And when do we use this vous form here? This votre, we use it if we're talking to more than one person. We also use it when we're talking to one person if we're showing respect. The plural form is vos. Vos frères, vos sœurs. Your brother, your sister, your brothers, your sisters. And finally, to show possession using there, that's talking about third person, his or her, but plural, the word is leur. Leur frère is their brother. Leur sœur is their sister. Leur with an S, frère with an S, their brothers. And leur sœur, again with an S, their sisters. You don't hear this S on the end, okay? You don't hear that, it's silent. So leur, 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 all of those mean their, T-H-E-I-R, possession, not location. All right, so let's go back and kind of recap what all this means. I know it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to take in. We just don't have this in English. In English, we just say my, your, his, her, our, your, and their, right? But in French, because they're adjectives, we have all these different forms. So for the masculine, singular, mon frère. And feminine, singular, ma soeur. This whole line, Mo, ma, me means my. Okay? The next line, ton tate, what does that mean? That's how we say your. Son sasse, this is how we say his or her. Notre, notre, no, no. This is how we say our. Votre, votre, vo, vo. This is how we say your. If we're talking to more than one person or if we're showing respect. And la, 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 la. That's how we say their. T-H-E-I-R. All right, you got that all down? If you need to, pause the video and give yourself some more time. All right, so we already said that son sensé can mean his or her. And we already said the adjective agrees with the item owned, not the owner. Let's look at some examples. C'est le chien de Paul. Now, we already said in French we use the word de to show possession. This sentence says, it is the dog of Paul. Another way to say it, c'est son chien. It is his dog. The son is agreeing with chien. C'est le chien de Marie. It is the dog of Marie. Well, if I want to say it is her dog, I say it the same exact way. Because son is agreeing with chien. It has nothing to do with the owner Marie or Paul. It is his dog. It is her dog. Okay? Monton and son, these are the masculine singular forms. We have to use this form in front of singular words that start with a vowel, even if they're feminine. 
What, Madam Mayo? That's crazy. I hear you. I agree. But it's first. Why, 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 why do we do anything like that in French, guys? You know the answer. It's for sound. It's all about sound. So, you can see here, ami has an E on the end. That means it's feminine. We're talking about a friend who's a girl. But we can't say sa ami in French. It doesn't sound right. So we use the masculine forms, son ami and mon ami. Go ahead and write down this really important note, okay? It's important to remember this. We use mon, ton, and son before a feminine singular noun that begins with a vowel or a silent H. Okay, great job, you guys. I know that was a lot to write. That's all you need to do for tonight. I will see you next time. Bonsoir.